We're here at Figue Restaurant in La Quinta, and Chef Francois is about to cook up his signature dishes. Let's get started. Right now, I'm going to prepare for you one of our signature seafood dishes. It's a sautéed Alaskan halibut tagine. So I start out with our Alaskan halibut. Uh, we have our uh, oven-roasted cauliflower, cherry tomatoes, piquillo peppers from Spain, couscous, chermoula, which is a Moroccan vinaigrette that we make with our own preserved uh, lemons, and just herbs to garnish it with. So we saute the Alaskan halibut. Serve it on top of sautéed cauliflower, piquillo peppers, cherry tomatoes, and a Moroccan vinaigrette which we make from our own preserved lemons. Voila! Chef, this dish was absolutely delicious. Oh, thank you very much. And I understand it's one of your signature dishes? Yeah, it's our sautéed Alaskan halibut tagine and it's served on top of sautéed cauliflower, piquillo peppers, cherry tomatoes, uh, with the chermoula, which is a Moroccan vinaigrette, a very light, flavorful, healthy sauce, and served with a little bit of couscous on the side. Yeah, I definitely noticed that sauce, because you know sometimes with cauliflower it can be a little bit bland, but when I was tasting it, it had a nice little kick to it. Yeah, it's got a lot of different flavors and heat from a couple different kinds of peppers in there, so. Yeah, that's great. So would this be maybe a good choice for someone who's trying to watch their figure or be a little bit healthy because of the halibut? Yeah, I mean, don't look at me, for example, but, you know, never trust a skinny chef. That's what I say. I have heard that before, yeah. and it's always turned out to be really true. If the chef doesn't eat his own food, why should you? But yes, it, it is a healthy dish. It's very light. There's just a little bit of olive oil in the vinaigrette. Otherwise, you know, it's very a healthful dish. Great. So, uh, might I ask, how did you get started in cooking? Yep, I grew up in a French restaurant family. Uh, my family has a hotel and restaurant south of France, and so... Age two, I filleted my sister's goldfish. When I was seven, I cooked my pet rabbits and pretty much been downhill from there. Wow, I have never heard of a start like that before ever, but I mean, there's always a first for everything. Exactly. <laughs> and so then how did you get down to the desert? Um, I was just really intrigued by the concept that Lee was putting together here. Uh, I've been cooking Mediterranean food all my life. My mother's from Marseille, so it's kind of in my blood. Okay, very nice. And who are some of your culinary inspirations? Um, you know, going back in history, I have um, quite a few cookbooks. So going back all the way to Carême and then Escoffier was a big influence and obviously more modern chefs. You know, now I'm really intrigued by just different flavors around the world. There's a lot of great chefs in Australia doing Arabic food, which is a big influence here and all over the country. You know, the whole food scene's kind of exploded here. That's it from Feig.